एवरी वन वेलकम टू एल एन ओवरसीज होप यू आर डूइंग वेल सो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न एन इम्पॉर्टेंट टॉपिक दैट इज डायमेंशनल फॉर्मूला फ्रॉम यूनिट्स एंड मेजरमेंट्स द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन दैट वुड बी कमिंग इन योर माइंड वॉट इज बेसिक डेफिनेशन ऑफ दिस डायमेंशनल फॉर्मूला एंड हेयर इज द आंसर फॉर द सेम लेट सी वॉट इज रिटर्न हियर डायमेंशनल फॉर्मूला ऑफ एनी फिजिकल क्वान्टिटी is the expression which represents how and which of the base physical quantities are included in any physical quantity that means if we want to write dimensional formula of any given physical quantity we should know dimensional formula of base physical quantities which are included in the given physical quantity hope it is clear to you so let's move ahead to the next point like here in this point we are going to study about different types of dimensional formula and here you can see there are basically two types of dimensional formula the first one is dimensional formula for fundamental physical quantity at the same time second one is dimensional formula for derived physical quantity so let's try to understand dimensional formula of fundamental physical quantity and here we are going to do the same like dimensional formula of base or fundamental physical quantity so the next question that you should know what is base or fundamental physical quantity and here is the answer for the same like i have already pasted here dimensional formula as well as si unit of seven fundamental physical quantities yes seven fundamental physical quantities but before going to this point i want to tell you something like we have already created a playlist of more informative videos like this and link is also given in the description so if you want to know more informative videos like this kindly go through that link and click on the link now let's move ahead to the same point that we were discussing like as we know we were discussing about seven fundamental base or physical quantity so let's start from the very first one that is time and as we know si unit of time is second at the same time dimensional formula of time is also written here if i talk about second fundamental physical quantity that is mass and as we know si unit of mass is kilogram at the same time dimensional formula is also written here if i talk about third fundamental physical quantity that is amount of substance here you can see like si unit of amount of substance is mole and here is the dimensional formula for the same right now if i talk about luminous intensity that is also fundamental physical quantity where si unit of luminous intensity is candela and it is represented by this kind of dimensional formula and you can see the dimensional formula also here now if i talk about temperature temperature is also fundamental physical quantity and here you can see si unit for the same as well as dimensional formula also for the same hope it is clear so let's move ahead and here you can see as we know current is also what fundamental physical quantity and we also know like the si unit of current is what ampere that the same thing you can see here at di and dimensional formula is also written here now if i talk about last but not the least one that is length and as we know si unit of length is meter at the same time dimension formula is also written here so just see just mark it like this because we have seven fundamental physical quantities now it is clear to you like what are the seven fundamental physical quantities along with the si unit as well as dimensional formula hope it is clear to you so let's move ahead to the next slide like here in this slide we are going to study about dimensional formula for supplementary si units yes so the very first thing that you should know here in this situation like there are basically two types of supplementary si units the first one is radian and the second one is astroradian radian is used to measure plane angle whereas astroradian is used to measure solid angle but here in this situation you should always remember one thing like plane angle and solid angle are those physical quantities which has si units 
but no dimension. So always remember like dimensional formula of supplementary SI units are dimensionless. So in this situation what you will say plane angle and solid angles are those physical quantities which has SI units but no dimension. Right? Then how we will represent it? We will represent it like m to the power 0, l to the power 0 and t to the power 0. Hope it is clear to you. Write down this thing in your formula note copy along with this hashtag point. This because this is very important point for you. So let's move ahead to the next slide. Like here in this slide we are going to study about dimensional formula of derived physical quantity. So the next question that you should know what is derived physical quantity. So here in this situation what we will say any physical quantity other than fundamental or base physical quantities will be considered as derived physical quantity. Hope it is clear. Now in order to write dimensional formula for the same we are going to consider few examples. So here first of all I am going to write physical quantity. Then I am going to write here SI unit and then what we will write here dimensional formula that I am representing here by symbol D dot F right. Now here in this situation first example that we are going to consider here is area and as we know area is a derived physical quantity and SI unit of area is meter square therefore at the place of dimensional formula what we will write do we have here SI unit as kg no as here in this situation we don't have mass so what we will write here we will write here m to the power 0 but as here in this situation you can see we have meter square that means and meter is represented by which symbol in dimensional formula by capital L so what you will write here l to the power 2 but at the same time if I talk about this SI unit here we don't have any term for time also. So definitely and as we know in dimensional formula we represent time by which symbol by capital T. So what you will write there you will also write here t to the power 0. Hope it is clear to you. So let's move to the second example. Here I am going to consider a physical quantity or derived physical quantity that is a speed. Now what is the SI unit of speed you say it is meter per second right now again here in this situation as there is no power of kg or you may also say as here we have we don't have any term related to mass so as a result of which what we will write here m to the power 0 because m represents mass in dimensional formula. But here in this situation as it is written m to the power is small m to the power or meter to the power 1. So what you will write here L to the power 1 and here second to the power minus 1. So what you will write here D to the power minus 1. Hope it is clear to you. Now let's move ahead to the third example where we are going to consider a, again a derived physical quantity that is force right and SI unit of force is what Newton or kg meter per second square. Now this time what will be the dimensional formula this time I am not going to write here dimensional formula because you are going to write this answer and send me the answer in the comment box hope it is clear. So let's move ahead to the next slide like here in this slide we are going to solve a direct question from NEET 2022 let's see what is written here plane angle and solid angle have as I said to you. Plane angle and solid angle are the physical quantities which has SI units but no dimension and the same thing we are going to find here in these four options. Let's see. Plane angle and solid angle have both unit and dimension. This is wrong. Units but no dimensions. This is correct. Then definitely option number 3 and option number 4 will be wrong option if it is only single correct question hope it is clear and now we are going to write solution that is option number two is the correct option hope it is clear to you so let's move ahead to the next slide 
Like here in this slide, again we are going to solve a direct question from NEET 2021. Let's see what is written here. If E and capital G respectively denote energy and gravitational constant, then ratio of dimensional formula of energy and gravitational constant has the dimensions of and here we have four options also. What is our aim? Our aim is to find ratio of dimensional formula of energy and gravitational constant. So indirectly what are your first and second step? Your first and second step should be to find dimensional formula of energy and then find dimensional formula of gravitational constant and then take ratio or you just calculate ratio of dimensional formula of energy and gravitational constant. So let, let's start from the very first step. Here as we know dimensional formula of energy is what m to the power 1, l to the power 2 and t to the power minus 2. Let's call this as equation number 1. Clear? Now what is our next aim? Our next is aim is to find dimensional formula of gravitational constant. So in this situation we will write here again dimensional formula of force that is m l t to the power minus 2. Why? Because by the help of formula of gravitational force what we will write here f is equal to g m1 m2 upon r square where g is the gravitational constant m1 and m2 are the masses of the two bodies whereas r is the separation between two bodies. So from this point what will be the formula of gravitational constant it will be f r square divided by m1 m2. So we are going to write the same thing in terms of dimensional formula. So m to the power 1 l to the power 1 t to the power minus 2 is for force then l square divided by m to the power 2 clear then in next step what we will write here I can easily write here m to the power minus 1 l to the power 3 and t to the power minus 2 is our equation number 2 now what is our actual aim our actual aim is to find ratio of dimensional formula of energy and gravitational constant and for this what we need to do we need to take ratio of equation 1 and equation 2 what you are going to find just try to understand here m to the power 1 l to the power 2 and t to the power minus 2 divided by m to the power minus 1 l to the power 3 and t to the power minus 2 after solving this part what we are going to find we can easily cancel this thing t to the power minus 2 and t to the power minus 2 then what we will write m to the power 2 l to the power 3 l to the power minus 1 not 3 it is 2 minus 3 it will be minus 1 and then t to the power 0. Let's match the same thing with the four options that is given here in the question. m to the power 2, l to the power minus 1 and t to the power 0 is given in our option number 1. So from this point what we will say option number 1 is the correct option. Hope it is clear to you. So let's move ahead to the next slide. Like here in this slide again we are going to solve a direct question from NEET 2021. Let's see what is written here. If force capital F, acceleration capital A and time capital T are chosen as the fundamental physical quantities, find the dimensions of energy. And here we have four options also. But as I have already discussed so many informations or so many minute informations also about dimensional formula. So now this time I am not going to solve this question for you because you just try this question by yourself. Try yourself. And don't forget to send me answer in the comment box. I am waiting for your answer. And here is a big thank you from our end. 
and if you have any doubt query or suggestions for us feel free to text us in the comment box we'll definitely try to revert you back within 24 hours till the time bye bye and take care everyone